watching Crank It Out Crafts. Um, I'm here today <laughs> for our Halloween issue. <laughs> My name is Puna and I'm going to be showing you how to make this really gross spider sack. But it's going to be really, really creepy for your house. So what you're going to need for this project is uh, some fiber fill. You have them, it comes in really, really big bags. It just looks like the snowy book that you stuff uh, stuffed animals with. Okay, and then we're also going to use uh, white nylon, like a nylon stocking. And we sell these in the store that come in packages of three. So you're going to need one of those, or you can make three different decorations. We're also going to need uh, some white thread, and a needle, which I have here already threaded, and also some fake spiders. Uh, these are like the, the plastic ones that you can find for in your Halloween section or we would have some little fuzzy guys over here So what we're going to do first is with your nylon netting and your needle Our nylons actually don't have a toe to them. They have an open edge So or two open edges, so we're gonna have to t um, sew them together, but it's really really simple all you're gonna do is do a quick in and out running stitch along one side so go in and out in and out in and out it's not going to matter if your stitches are kind of big because we're going to gather this all up together so in and out running stitch like that i'm going to use my two ends of my thread and i'm going to tie them together into a nice big knot so what actually I'm going to do is do a surgeon's knot to make sure that our thread does not slip later on because you want this to be a pretty good knot just because you're going to be stuffing your nylon with the fiber fill later on. So you want to make sure that this is going to stay together. Okay, so I did a good knot there and I need scissors. I almost forgot about the scissors. So all you need to do then after you tie your knot is just cut your thread short and then we're going to go ahead and turn this inside out so that that gathered part at the bottom of our stocking is on the inside rather than on the outside. And now all we have to do is start stuffing it with the fiber fill. So take big chunks of fiber fill and you're going to shove them into your stocking. Now, we're kind of going for a spider egg sack look. So we want it to look like long and like it's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. I don't know, it's really gross, but it's gonna make a really cool Halloween decoration. So we're gonna keep stuffing it. I actually used quite a lot of fiber fill in the other one, but we want to get sort of this long shape. And after you put it in, you can always rearrange, move it around, that kind of stuff. But you want a good long sort of look to it. And then once you have your nylon stuffed to where you think you kind of like the way it looks, we're going to start putting the spiders in. You can actually hot glue the spiders onto the outside if you want, but a lot of times they look really, really cool if you put them in like they're crawling around on the eggs like that. <laughs> so we're going to use a couple different sizes of spiders, shove them all in, make sure you get a good amount of them, and you're going to have a spider sack that looks like this. Hope you like our Halloween project for today. Thanks. <laughs>